Good afternoon. Welcome to our little get-together. Each week we try to take a few minutes simply to come into your lives and let you know that we're thinking about you and with you and to help ourselves grow in faith. Today is the feast of St. Polycarp, which was one of the founders of the church. We'll take a few minutes to get to know him better, especially that in our diocese, there's a church devoted to him. Let us start a little encounter by praying together. God created earth and heaven, God commanded light to be, separated light from darkness, set the bounds for land and sea. While God's Spirit on the waters in His love did gently brood, life on earth began to quicken, and God saw that it was good. God made man in His own image, gave him power to think and choose, made him Lord of all creation, everything is his to use. Let us praise our loving Father, let us thank him as we should, for the gifts of his creation, which his love has made so good. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of St. Mark. John, one of the disciples, said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw one casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him, because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not stop him, for no one who does a deed of power in my name will be able afterwards to speak evil of me. Whoever is not against us is for us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I guess we're all a little bit like John. We like to control things. We like to have our own territory. We like to have control over what is happening. And instead of seeing what is good that is happening, after our first attitude is to see, gee, this person does not have a right to do that. Why is he doing that in my place? We're always trying to control. And that's not easy. So Jesus invites us today to open our hearts and try to celebrate the good that is going on around us. Even if it's not done the way we thought it should be, at least to appreciate what is great and what is beautiful. Today is the Feast of St. Polycap, and one of our parishes not far from here is in the diocese, is dedicated to him. Let us learn a little bit more about St. Polycap. Polycarp is one of the fathers of the early church, and his letter to the Philippians is one of the early pieces of Christian writing in existence today. A, dis oh, sorry, a disciple of the, the Apostle John, he was a leader of the second generation of Christians, the first Christians who were not eyewitnesses to the death and resurrection of our Lord. Extremely influential in the catechesis and initiation of new Christians, he was named Bishop of Smyrna, located in northern day, modern day Turkey. Polycarp was martyred for his faith about the year 155 at the age of 86. Wow. He is patron of those suffering from earaches. I had no idea, didn't know that. <laughs> Uh, Father Andre, uh, who's uh, our vicar general in the diocese, 
told me that all the parishes that are out St. Polycarp Way, and for the life of me, I can't think of half of their names now, but apparently they were all related in the same era. So there's St. Polycarp, St. St. Clotilde, St. Clet, St. They're all, they were all like uh, together. Yeah. So uh, that's why they named them, that all those churches were named because they were all like friends with each other or came from the same the era. The beginning of the yeah. church. Yeah. yeah, I yeah. thought that was interesting, so mm -hmm. I never knew that until yeah. mm -hmm. they told me. There you go. I had no idea St. Polycarp was way back there. I thought he was more like a Quebec person. Nope, nope. I had no idea. Maybe there's a St. Paul that come from Quebec to a city there. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and also, next week, we start an experience, we start an adventure that we call Lent. It begins on Ash Wednesday and continues for up to Easter. It's an occasion for us to, to rekindle our faith, to deepen our relationship with the Lord. And especially after these two very past hard years, it's an occasion for us to sort of like, you know, find new hope and strength and to be able to be renewed and celebrate Easter with joy. So this year, we're going to try to do a little special way that each week there'll be a little clue that'll help us enter into the, the specialty of the readings and so I invite you maybe to try to, to guess what those clues are for. So it should be fun and interesting. We also preparing for the visit of our bishop that will be coming on the, on the 12th and 13th and celebrate with us. No, it's, that's it. 12th and 13th, yeah. 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 And it will be an occasion for us to, to celebrate St. Patrick's and also much of the restrictions will be gone, so we'll be able to get together and have a little something special there. So we're planning maybe uh, 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 pancakes and also coffee between masses and maybe little other little activities to be able to get together and to be able to start anew, start over again. So it should be very interesting. Yeah. He'll be meeting with our confirmation students too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one of the things we wanted to remind you of is that we are open now and we are allowed up to 160 people at each Mass. So uh, we invite you to please come to Mass. Uh, people wear their masks, uh, they sanitize their hands. They're, the reason we can only have 160 is so that you can spread out all over the church and not be worried about being close too close to somebody. So we invite you to start coming back to Mass, if, if, if you're comfortable with it. Sure. So we are, we are streaming our Masses right now, but we're hoping that you'll come and be with us. We need your presence. We need, we need to build our community back up again. So please think about coming to Mass. We will be streaming for at least till March, the middle of March, but we're going to slow down on that afterwards and maybe only do it once a month for something special or, yeah. you know. So please join us, is yeah. what I'm trying to say. We, we miss, miss you. you and we want you to be back with us as soon as you can come, as yeah. soon as you feel. And everybody is very respectful here and we haven't had any cases of COVID that are resulting from Knock our parish. Yeah. So, Knock on wood. Yeah. Knock on wood. And also, well, we we're fortunate to have the equipment to stream, but maybe in your relationships, your families, people you know, and all that, if you know anybody that would like to to get involved and help us stream it, because re really, uh, it, it's very hard to find somebody to be there every every week. So we had two or three people that had the ability to do it. Uh, it would be wonderful. And yeah, it will we can do be, a rotation. you will be shown how to do it. So Yeah, it might open 
for a young person a career they might like there. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know any Jack students, John Abbott College? Yeah, do you know anybody, anybody at John Abbott who's in the uh, audio, art, yeah. arts or audio arts. visual and would maybe like to use this as a, a way to improve their skills? Well, we're more than happy to have them, so just give us, give us a call. Okay, so let us pray together. So. Yeah. Let us humbly, humbly pray to God who sent his Son as the Savior and exemplar of his people. May your people praise you, Lord. May your, your people, people praise, praise you, Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to God who chose us as the first fruits of salvation and who called us to share in the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. May your people praise you, Lord. May those who confess your holy name be united in your truth and fervent in your love. May your people praise you, Lord. Creator of all things, your Son desired to work among us with his own hands. Be mindful of all who earn their living by the sweat of their brow. May your people praise, praise you, Lord. Lord. Be mindful of those who devote themselves to the service of their brothers. Do not let them be deterred from their goals by discouraging results or lack of support. May, May your people, people praise, praise you, Lord. Lord. Be merciful to the faithful departed. Keep them from the power of the evil one. May, May your people, people praise you, Lord. Lord. Our Father, who art Lord in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord. May I never give in to complacency about the future of our world, and at the same time help me to trust in your providence. May I be motivated by the urgency of these issues, but not enslaved by despair or cynicism. I entrust to you, almighty and loving God, all that is good and beautiful, and when I have done, what is to be done? Help me to sleep the sleep of saints, so that I am ready to begin again tomorrow. Thank you for the beauty and abundance in creation. May we learn how to enjoy in the way you, you mean us to. Amen. 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 May the Lord keep us all well. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.